Hello, everyone. It's great to see you today. Hi, Aaron. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that a lot. Um, we are back. More Pokemon Platinum. Very excited about it. Um, we can probably get another gym badge today. Um, and that'll push our total over five, which would be more than halfway through the game, which is crazy. Um, so we are working our way through this route, through some of these trainers. We have more trainers on the way. I know there's got to be something in the sand hidden. Yes, there it is. One, two, three, over, and two down is... Oops. There we go. A pearl! A pearl hidden in the sand. Wouldn't you know it. Um, and... So we got a few of these trainers that we're going to save because... We are going to be adding another member to the squad tonight. There we go. I'll save those two young swimmers, that fisherman. We can fight anybody that wants to... That want, really, really wants to get in our way. We can fight this lady. Um, but, yes. Um, how's everybody's Monday been? Mine has been okay. Um, we had one of our kids have a pretty tough day at school today. Um, but other than that, it was pretty good. Um, I have, I had one, uh, kid that was out for a while, um, and came back today and had a pretty good day, so, um, yeah, that's, it's, it's been pretty solid overall for a Monday. Can't complain too much. Um, and if y'all are in the Discord, that's a one-shot blizzard, baby! Um, if you are all in the Discord, I said that we would stream somewhere between... Um, oh, we do not have our HM Pokemon. We do not have um, the Barrel with us right now, so I'll have to come back with uh, with Gilbert, the Barrel. Ooh, it just turned to night. Did you see that? It was like the sunset filter, and then it turned to 7 p.m., and now it's the night filter. Oh, how neat. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, all right, more Rock Smash stuff, so let's grab that here soon. Um, and right here, this is going to be the last patch of grass standing between us and Pastoria City. Um, so let's run through there, and we'll get these uh, berries. A guava berry. It's like guava, just with the A in the beginning. These Rost berries will, hear some bur will heal some burns if we need them to. Uh, but as I was saying... Um, in the Discord, I said that we would stream, we would start sometime between 7 and 7.30. I was actually able to start a little bit on the earlier side today. Here's Pastoria City. It is a delightful city. It is pretty chill. Um, it's kind of wet, kind of marshy, and we'll talk about that later. But, as I was saying, um, I might start my streams a little bit later on these weeknights than I have been, because I've been starting around... Um, 7 o'clock. It, it might be more like 7.30. Just something like that. Um, Alright, so I'm going to pop in here. Oh, I will show that off in a second. Um, let's just heal the squad. I We only have like 20 HP off, but uh, you know, as I've mentioned before, I have anxiety. Uh, here, one of the great attractions of Pastoria City. We're a Kroagunk! How cute. Oh, love these. Alright. Um, ooh, but we do have this Team Galactic guy just sitting in the package. Hasn't arrived from the Veil Veilstone Warehouse yet. I have to wait here until then. Oh, I'm going batty from this wait. Oh, man. I wish I could do something that involved lots of explosives. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder if that's foreshadowing something. I do wonder. Um, okay. So we do not want to walk in front of the gym yet because there is a certain cutscene that triggers when we do. So we're not doing that right now. Uh, right now, we're going to pick some more berries. And we'll be able to um, catch the next member of our squad as well, which excites me greatly. Um, okay, so here again, here we are in Pastoria City. It, again, like, it's real chill. There's not a ton here, just a few houses. Uh, we have some water here that we can't surf on. We got our mart. There is this little area down here. I'm pretty sure there's an item around this puddle. Yes. Ooh, a zinc! That's a very nice hidden item. 
All right, so here, let's see who's gonna get a Zinc. A Zinc is going to raise special defense. Um, I actually think that might be good for our friend Autumn. So we'll raise Autumn's base special defense, uh, make him a little bulkier. So, this is a route. It's a very long route. It actually connects to Heart Home City if you go all the way to the west and then north. Um, so you could start down this route a little early. As you can see, I can take this little shortcut right here and grab this item. Um, but we should be able to find the next member of our team here. I'm going to try to adeptly dodge this trainer, <laughs> and I do so. So as you can see, ooh, the TM for Toxic, very nice, very, very nice. As you can see, there's this like mud right here and we kind of sink into it. And as you can see, I can't walk. You kind of have to jiggle yourself free when you get stuck in the mud. And it's a very interesting spot. Um, and it's very annoying to traverse. <laughs> but here is actually where we are going to find the next member of our team. I'm gonna try to run along the edge of the mud here. Um, because if I'm not mistaken, you can find Pokemon in the mud itself, but maybe not, maybe just in the grass. Okay. And here it is, the newest member of our squad. This is Croagunk, we've seen Croagunk before, but now we are going to catch one. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> um, there we go. I have never used a Croagunk in a playthrough, so this uh, this excites me greatly. I know it's not like a particularly rare Pokemon. Um, Croagunk was actually a, ooh, restored HP with its dry skin, very cool. Um, Croagunk is a, a staple in the anime. Um, okay, let's see. With that, it's gonna heal itself with the dry skin. One more quick attack should be fine. Implying I can, there we go. Um, yes, and uh, Krogunk to be an anime Pokemon, it always, uh, <laughs> it always stabbed Brock with its poison jab when Brock was getting a little too thirsty for, nur for Nurse Joy and the like. Um, which was cute. Um, there we go! And it's a big Team Galactic um, Pokemon. Um, but again, I've never used it. And it's a big, it's a big Generation 4. You can even play as Croagunk in Pokken Tournament, um, which is a really fun game from the Nintendo Switch. It's a, it's a mix of Pokemon and Tekken, which are two of my favorite things, so... It was pretty cool. I did enjoy playing it a lot. Uh, Croagunk is one of the uh, Pokemon you can play with at the beginning. Anyway, very excited to use Croagunk on our playthrough. Um, it rarely fights fairly, but that is strictly to ensure survival. It is popular as a mascot. How about that? So I think I... Aaron, do you want to name this Croagunk? It is a girl. If you're there. If you're handy. If you are by your keyboard and not just listening in the background. Um, yes, okay, name this Croagunk. Please do. I'd be honored if you would do us the honors. It's a mean, toxic frog. Hot to go, <laughs> yes. Hot to go, the Croagunk. That is perfect. For all you Chapel Roan fans out there, Perfect. I love that. Thank you. H-O-T-T-O-G-O. -T you can take me hot to go, says this Croagunk. All right. So we're going to pick that up. Nope. This would be a great spot to plant a berry because it's always raining here. Um, all right. And then this. You know, it's actually pretty interesting. I'm gonna look up to see what Croagunk learns 
um, in its move set because Krogunk could be useful HM wise for us, um, as well as being a member, a valued, excuse me, a valued member of the squad. So here we have pretty much our whole team. We want to keep Pachirisu for now because that'll be useful for the um, water gym that we're about to have, but it's time for inclusion to be boxed. And I mean, we love Staravia, and you will love Staravia's evolution when we get there. Um, but, uh, you know, I wanted to use Togekiss this playthrough. So we're going to do this for now. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Um, okay. So we have hot to go. The crow gunk will put you in front because you need some training. My beautiful friend. So it reduces HP if it is hot. Ooh, interesting. So if crow gunk is out in the sun, it will lose a little bit of HP. But if it's in the rain, it will d restore HP. I like it. That's fun. Um, we do have a nice little fighting move here in Revenge, an attack move that inflicts double the damage if the user has been hurt by the foe in the same turn. So that could be very useful for us at some point. Um, and it's good to have a stab fighting move. Um, I don't know if we have any poison TMs. We might just have to wait on a poison move, and I'm fine with that. Um, because we definitely want to have a poison move as well as a fighting move. We could teach Toxic, but I'm going to wait on that. Um, okay. Let's have a look at Croagunk's move set here. Um, because again, I've never used one. And it's just kind of one of those things. You do kind of get it a little bit later in the game. Um, some people might not want to use it for that reason. Ah, it used to have Poison Sting. It will learn Poison Jab at level 38, which is a very nice new poison move for this generation. I really like that. Um, all right, so... Actually, a mixed attacker is Croagunk. That's really cool. So you can employ Poison Jab or Sludge Bomb, and it'd be, both be equally effective. Um, let's see. Ah. So I really thought Croagunk would be able to learn Cut for us, but it cannot. That's okay. Um, I will go ahead and teach her Rock Smash. Because although Rock Smash is not the best move in the world, if a fighting Pokemon is using it, it will still get that same type of attack bonus, which is pretty good. Ah, uh, here we go. And it always has the chance to lower defense, which we love. Um, I will get rid of Pursuit for now. I don't plan on using Pursuit long term. And let's see if anybody knows Cut, can learn Cut just for convenience sake. Um, Skitter, what do you have? What could I get rid of on your move set? Um, I feel pretty okay getting rid of Charm. But you know what? For the time being, I'll wait. Oops. Yes, stop trying to learn Cut. <laughs> Perfect. Um, awesome. So very happy to add a team member. That is really great. Um... So now that we have Croagunk, we can go and fight some of those trainers that I skipped. I, th I think there was just a couple. And we can hit these Rock Smash points. Ah, yes. This guy is telling us that if we have Rock Climb, we can climb up that cliff. Not yet, though, unfortunately. That's just the deal. Ooh, that cry. Aerial Ace, very nice. That's a very nice TM. Uh, Togekiss could maybe make use of that later. There might be an item here on the beach. And this could be important, because I know in some of some places on the beach you can find those heart scales. So it's going to be one, two, three, four... So once the dot is in the center, like right here, you can see, 
that is where the item is. Maybe. Come on. Interesting. Am I standing on it now? Okay, <laughs> my bad. Yes, this is a heart scale. We need heart scales. It is just like generation three um, because the heart scales are going to help us um, teach Pokemon um, moves that they had previously forgotten. And that will be very important for Togekiss uh, because we can have access to some great moves with that. Saving a lot of data. Wow. There we go. Ha! Ah. Do, 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 better do, do, do. All right, Remorade shouldn't be too terribly threatening. Oh, I love the little turn back for Croagunk. Croagunk's just like, mm, hello. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Anyway, let's smoke this fool. Oh, Psybeam, that is quad effective. That is going to kill us immediately. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I do have the experience share. I can just grab that and put it on Croagunk for now. That was really funny, actually. Oh, and Gyarados. This is a skitter... Staple. Let's just hit that thunder. Not quite. There we go. And Gyarados, that's quad weak on... Uh, that's quad effective on Gyarados, so that's always going to be a one-shot as well. Ooh. The Remorade holds on. There we go. Perfect. Well, that was really annoying. Let's put the experience share on... Gunk. Which we do have that, right? Yes, we do. Um, ooh, we do also have the Fist Plate, which we can give to um, Gunk That will power up those fighting type moves, Revenge and Rock Smash. Um, so that could be really helpful. But first, we need to revive her. There we go. Um, perfect. We'll do that for now. Oop. Just good old guy who's telling us that there's a restaurant. There we go. You know, um, Sinnoh's actually a pretty interesting region um, because there's not a lot of water. Um, it's pretty much the opposite of Hoenn in that way. But here, we see the Pokemon Shellos. And if you're curious, you're just like, Trent, we saw Shellos earlier, and it was pink. What's up with this blue Shellos? Well, not much is different about this blue Shellos. I think it's mostly aesthetic, but on this side of Sinnoh, the uh, east side, you can catch blue Shellos. But on the west side, where you start, you can catch pink Shellos. It's just a cute little thing. Um... Um, and it might be part ground. I don't know if it is yet. It might just be when it evolves. It is when it evolves. Because that was not very effective. Oh, yes, that did lower our accuracy. Good thing that hidden power is not doing jack squat. All right. Another Shellos, but with our accuracy down, we'll swap. Um, Skitter, perfect. It does not have that ground typing yet, so we can still hit it with the electric type moves. Lovely. And getting Skitter up one more level for the gym. Ah, and as you can see, here is the pink one. They really uh, show it off in this fight, actually. Hmm. Thanks for the rain dance, Shellos. Now my thunder won't miss. Perfect. Lovely. Ba. All right, I would love to get hot to go a level before we get into the gym. Um, yeah, we'll stick with Pikachu. 
Ah, the pink bubbles on that Meryl Pokeball was delightful. Meryl is a bit more bulky though, so we're not really going to be able to just brute force it with quick attack on Vaporeon. Um, so let's try to kill this as quick as possible if it's going to start using Rollout. Two Thunder Misses is not what we wanted to see. There we go. <laughs> and Pikachu grows to 28. All right, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. Uh, but yes, as I was saying, um, Sinnoh is a very kind of like landlocked region in comparison to uh, other regions, really. Um, there are some cool nooks and crannies that we can explore when we do get Surf. Um, and as a matter of fact, that is going to be a time where we find our final team member when we get the HM for Surf, which I'm very excited about. Um, we fought her already. Let's smash this rock. Lovely. Oh, it's just a honey tree. We're not checking a honey tree right now. Let's get back to Pastoria City so we can heal the squad. Actually, we don't need to. We just healed at the hotel. Um, okay, so I think we're ready. Let's start with Karen. All right, so let's save here. So, right when you step in front of the Pastoria Gym, we have an encounter with our rival, GCG. Um, he's not gonna plow into you every time we meet, because <laughs> he always runs into us like a buffoon. Um, but yeah, he kind of ambushes you, challenges you to a battle here. Um, I've had some trouble with this battle in the past. I don't know if we will this time, we'll see. Hmm. His levels are pretty high here though, 34, that's no joke. Um, Let's get Skitter in on Staravia and see what we can do. I feel like that's pretty high. Oh, no. Um, I'll try to hit it with a Thunder. Oh, boy. But if you're just going to keep double teaming... Yeah. We'll see. Let's, let me try a Spark. Maybe I can paralyze it. There we go. Ah! Oh, my plan worked. Oh, and we hit the thunder after three double teams. Skitter, you're OP. All right. Um, Buizel, this is actually a great Pokemon for Skitter as well. Um, but we'll just go into Autumn for now. So, we are a little bit under-leveled, but we have a really good start here. Um, we kind of got lucky with Staravia, and Buizel um, is starting to get a little weak by this point in the game. Buizel will be evolving for him shortly. Um, but we're able to quit make quick work of it with Autumn. Um, Monferno. Well, you see, I would want to go into Pikachu here. Um, but Pikachu does not have any water moves yet. Um, and we can get a water HM when we, not HM, TM, when we defeat the water gym. But I don't know if I want to use it quite yet. Um, excuse me. Just in case this does a little too much damage, which it did with a critical hit. That's dumb. Um, we can heal this off, though. I feel pretty fine with that. Haha. -ha. Now Monferno goes... Ooh, no. I almost just used that. Monferno goes to sleep. I'll use a return, because I don't know if one fly will kill it. We can use fly now. And I don't want to waste its sleep turns in the air, but... Oh, boy. Oh, exactly my fear. We just need not another crit, and we should be fine, and we get one. How about that? How about that? 
That is extraordinarily unlucky. But we still got Pikachu, and we can outspeed with Quick Attack. This should take it out. It doesn't! But just delays the inevitable. We eat that. Vaporeon's bulky as crap. We good. We finally good. There we go. Kroagunk's first level. Um, and then finally Roselia. This is where Karen can shine. Use that beautiful, beautiful Fire Blast. I don't like relying on moves like Blizzard and Fire Blast and Thunder just because they're inaccurate. Um, I'd much rather use Thunderbolt and Ice Beam and um, Flamethrower. But, I mean, gosh... Houndoom launch and fire blasts has been just incredible for us. Alright, so that battle wasn't too bad. We got some pretty bad luck with Togetic, but... <laughs> so that is fine. Oh yeah, he is the apprentice of Crasher Wake now, allegedly, according to him. Which, whatever, dude. <laughs> um, so now we can hop into the gym. And we can uh, defeat those trainers and hopefully get the gym taken down, which excites me greatly. Let's check it out. So, this is the Pastoria Gym. It is super cool. I really like it because you hit these little buttons and it will raise or lower the water level in the gym, as you can see. That lowered it and that raised it. And when you hit that, you can access or block off areas of the gym. So you can just go through and fight all the trainers. It's really cool. I like this gym a lot. The rising and lowering water line is really cool. All right. So we are going to hit this. Let's fight this guy. Um, I actually had a lot more time today, um, which was great because, let's see, a flinch, there we go, or just an out and out kill, love to see it, um, because my wife and I actually had chili for dinner, which was delicious, um, but a lot of it we had already prepped yesterday. So really all we had to do was throw it in the crock pot, and by the time we got home from work today, it was done. It was really, really great. Um, so we were all just ready to ready to go. Um, here's Whiskash. This could be really bad to stay in on it. Yes, it was a terrible idea. Should have just swapped it to Autumn because this thing is quad weak to grass. There we go. Um, I'm going to use another revive, because, you know, I just want Karen to, just want Karen to get to level 28, if I can help it. Um, alright, so that's gonna raise it up, and let me go over here, yes, I can fight this fellow. Perfect. And you, you don't have to fight all the trainers in these gyms, um, but I like to. You know, they're trainers that aren't available to you after you beat the gym, so it just makes sense to, to clear them. Um, ooh, quick attack. Oh yeah, we good. Wow, Houndoom is a very good Pokemon. Let's, excuse me, we're going to Skitter against this Pelipper. Because, once again, this is going to be quad weak to electric moves. Um, even with that, Spark not really doing it. All right, we good now. You know, it's so interesting because an electric Pokemon is so useful um, that Pachirisu isn't really particularly good. But if you just have one like decent electric move on it, it's still just going to really help you. So we fought this guy already. Now we can fight this gal. You can tell it's a girl because her inner tube is pink. It's <laughs> hilarious. Um, 
Uh, a zoo which we love because this is actually just a normal type, not an actual water type. Um, I'll stay in for Meryl. Okay, Bubble Beam doesn't hurt that bad. Meryl's kind of more of like a bulky Pokemon than like a overly powerful. Ooh, Beat Up. Um, hmm, I don't know. I always remember Beat Up as being like an interesting move to me. Um, as a child, because I'm pretty sure only Sneasel learned it in Generation 2. I think it was a Sneasel signature move, which I loved, because I loved Sneasel. But it says, the user gets all the party Pokemon to attack the foe. The more party Pokemon, the more damage. So basically, if you have six Pokemon, it does like 60 damage, which is not really that useful. Um, I might get rid of Smog, though. Yeah, I'll get rid of Smog. Screw it. I don't use Smog. I don't care about it. Um, there we go. I could still use a Roar, however. A Zoomerill, I'll think better. I'll, I'll swap out here. I'll, I'll let Autumn take this one. Um, Azumarill does get really strong in later generations um, because of its abilities and it gains a type um, because right now it's just a pure water type in this game um, but in later games and those of you who know already know this but those of you who don't I won't spoil it um, it gains a type that doesn't exist yet as of generation 4 excuse me but as you can see, we're eating its moves pretty well. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so here... I'm pretty confident with Croagunk trying to go her own way here. See if we can defeat a Pokemon or two on our own. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love that little turn back to us. Um, so, Goldeen. Okay, we do move second, which I love, so this will power up our revenge. I did know it had that super effective peck going. Um, All right, so that's great. Another one of those. Oops. Perfect. So Hot To Go does not have the most HP out of everybody. And Gyarados, I don't really want to miss the opportunity for the experience points, so let's get Skitter in here um, and hopefully one-shot it with Thunder. Perfect. And that, ooh, it will not do it! All right, that is surprising. I mean, as you can see, Skitter is not too powerful. I did get Hot to go to level 28. Um, sea King's not really going to work for Hot to go, so we'll go into Autumn. I'll Mega Drain this. Try to get some HP back. Mega Drain is not an overly powerful move, and they kind of do that to balance it, because if it was too powerful, then you would just gain all your HP back all the time. So they have to make it a generally weak move just to offset the really good, the really good effect that it has. All right, level 30 for Autumn. That is great. I don't know if we're gonna struggle with the gym or not, if I'm being honest. Um, we very well could. Let's do this. So that's gonna take it all the way down. And then we go all the way around town this way. And then we're gonna fight this guy. And we'll be at the gym. Uh, the gym leader, rather. Ooh, that's just how I roll, he says. Um, Wingle's not great. Let's see what a faint attack does. Because if it has a wing attack, okay, don't die. She died. 
She did not listen to me. Um, perfect. All right, so for Shellos, um, we'll go into breakfast here. Breakfast has kind of missed some experience as of late. Ah, uh, this rain would have healed our friend. Um, hot to go. There we go. Gold duck. Oh, this is kind of scary, actually. Um, we'll just use autumn. I'm not gonna go mess around. Um, okay, don't confuse me. This is in the rain, so this is gonna be boosted a little bit. doggy all right rain stopped love to see that pivots to fury swipes we're gonna be fine oh yeah hey okay good work team all right so now we hit this blue one to take us all the way to the top and that is gonna take us to crash or wake but we need to heal first so we're just gonna go all the way around the bend here and we will come back. We'll have to do that puzzle again, but that's no big deal. I don't mind doing that puzzle again. I can show you one more thing before we uh, challenge him, actually. That I'm excited about. Perfection. Um, let's save the game real quick. So, I'm going to walk in here. Um, and this leads us to the Pastoria Great Marsh. And what this is, is it functions a lot like a safari zone in this game. And it is a marshy area where you can catch Pokemon for a fee. And as you can see, you can catch Skaroopy here. You can catch Wooper here. Um, you can catch Quagsire, some other stuff. Um, in Diamond and Pearl, um, you could only catch Croagunk. Uh, via looking through these binoculars and seeing if it was available in the Great Marsh because some of the rarer Pokemon like Croagunk or Skaroopy were not available all the time. But in this game, you can catch Croagunk there in the route south of Pastoria City, um, which was really nice for us because we caught one. And yeah, the Great Marsh is lovely. We can just explore and uh, pick up some items. Ooh. Got some nice music as well. And as you can see, we have more of this here mud. So it, it turns out you don't need... Um, there aren't Pokemon in just the muddy spots. There has to be grass as well. Um, and as you can see, if you're stuck in the grass right there... I'm just going to throw a Safari Ball because I love Wooper. Got him, her. Um, let's see, what do I want to name this Wooper? Uh, another Chapel Roan song. I can name this Wooper. Uh, hmm. Oh, I don't know. Casual. <laughs> uh, where's the U? Casual! It's casual now. Um, Alright. Um, so there are these folks here uh, in the Great Marsh. Fun fact, in Diamond and Pearl, you had to get defog from someone in the Great Marsh. I'm pretty sure that this person would give you defog in Diamond and Pearl. Um, but in this game, Defog is much more uh, telegraphed, and you get it in the um, Celestian Ruins. And here's another thing I can point out. We can take this little tram car, and you just take the little train, and it takes you to a different area of the Great Marsh, um, which is super, uh, super sweet, super cute. Um, and it's just a way to fast travel, find some items. Found a Pokeball, it's great. Um, so I do actually want to go up there. 
area six. Oops, that's wrong. Maybe it's area two then. Yeah, there we go. This is the last area. Um, oh, and you can cross the bridge there, so maybe I can go all the way around. Let's try. I don't remember if there's any crazy good um, items in here. I don't think so. So I kind of got to go around the bend here. One thing I do want to point out, we caught a female whooper. And our female whooper only has two little prong lines on the side of its head. But the male whooper in this game has two. Um, sorry, I might have said that wrong. The female only has one. The male has two, as you can see. Um, and that's just a cool little gender difference um, that they give in this game that I wanted to point out. They were kind of really into that um, in Generation 4. Just kind of very minor gender variations. This is another cool Pokemon that we could have used in this playthrough. Um, and if you are playing this game, I encourage you to use it. Um, because Yanma um, has a cool evolution in Generation 4. It's really, really neat. Ah, and here it is. As you can see, this is a female Wooper and it only has the one prong thing. Um, but the males have two. There we go. And I'm pretty sure Yanma you can, can only be found in like a couple of the areas here in the Great Marsh. Yeah, I'm just trying my luck. Really, more than anything, I just kind of wanted to show this area off to you. This isn't really like the Safari Zone in Gen 1, um, where you need to go in here um, to get Surf. Um, like I said, in Diamond and Pearl, it is necessary um, to go in here because you need that Defog HM. But in this game, Platinum, it's a lot more chill. So let me see, any more items? Lots of whoopers, as you can see, come on now. Um, oops, did not mean to catch or go for that. All right, maybe if we find, ooh, Atropius, let's try to catch this. You know, I know a lot of people say Tropius, and I'm pretty sure I have always said Tropius, but to me it feels like Tropius, because it's like a tropical tree. Um, I don't know. I don't know if like the anime would um, override me there either. Uh, but here in the um, good old Great Marsh, we're gonna exit, because we don't need to be in here anymore. I just really wanted to show that to you before we gave Wake a try. Um, and I don't remember what Wake starts with. Um, let's have a look see. He might be pretty tough for us right now. Okay, that's what he starts with. But let's give it a try. This could be nice. Excuse me, kind of a nice way to finish off the stream. So one thing, I just really enjoy this puzzle. Because it kind of has the illusion of being difficult, but really if you just follow along as it goes the whole time, um, it's not too hard to figure out. And the blue ones raise the water all the way up. The yellow ones, I believe, put it all the way down. And the green ones are the middle ground, as you can kind of see there. So really the only trap could be those two little switches right there. Um, as long as you avoid those, you should be pretty good. Because now we go around the bend to this blue one. And we're back at Crasher Wake. Glorious. Okay. So I know what he starts with, and I'm going to want to start with Skitter. Um, we're not going to be in great shape here. But we're going to see what we can do. Saving a lot of data, why not? A 
Oh my goodness, that was ages. I had speed up on. <laughs> um, all right, so let's give... Oops, Pachirisu has an item. Escape rope. All right, now I feel like I need to save again. Um... All right. Welcome. I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria gym leader. That's right. I'm Crasher Wake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on. Let's get it done. I like this music in this game. Uh, it is actually really um, but I'm very partial to the original tracks, you know me. Um, so Gyarados is going to lower our attack with Intimidate, but that is fine because we're using the special move Thunder. Okay, uh, Waterfall can flinch us, and Gyarados has really high attack. So I'm really hoping Skitter can power through and hit Thunder. Great to see. A Paralysis would be superb. Superb here. Come on. Not quite. Not quite so lucky. Um, I might... Yes. I'm going to employ a little bit of a different strategy here. I'm going to swap in Vaporeon. And I'm going to see if I can heal Skitter. Ooh! And Water Absorb renders Brine useless. Ooh, that's going to be great. Um, yeah, let's use that. Perfect. Um, Blizzard should actually be our friend here. Alright. Because I doubt this will kill it, but we'll see. Oh, and it does! Perfect, Pikachu. Awesome. Okay, so now we can get a free switch um, into the next Pokemon. Ooh, Discharge. Um, sure. Um, so Discharge is a move. It is more powerful than Spark. Um, and it causes paralysis a lot. The only issue is that if you're in a double battle, it'll hit your partner as well. But I'm pretty okay with forgetting Spark for that little extra boost of power. Awesome. All right, so we're in good shape here, gang. So here's Floatzel. Floatzel is the evolved form of Buizel and um, Crasher Wake's ace Pokemon. So this will be interesting. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna try hot to go first. <laughs> ah, wonderful cry on Floatzel. As I said, Floatzel is the evolved form of Weasel, Crasher Wake's ace. It is a really cool Pokemon, really kind of weird looking, not what I expected expected the design to be when I saw Buizel. Um, but uh, here we are. And Dry Skin on Hot To Go renders Brine useless, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, if it's just gonna hit us with Brines all day long, we're gonna be, we're gonna be golden. Let's see, let me try Rock Smash to lower that defense a little bit. This is crazy. I must be, like, exploiting a glitch or something. All right, there's that defense drop. Um, let's try again. It just won't stop using brine. This is insane. All right. <laughs> let's keep this rolling. Um, brine again. Okay. So, I think some kind of glitch is happening here. Um, where all it will use is the move Brine. But Croagunk's ability, Dry Skin, renders that move useless um, because it would heal itself in water. And this is similar to a glitch that happens in Generation 1, um, where if you have a move that is super effective against the Pokemon, it will just keep using it. Um, this is different than that. I don't know what's happening. Um, but, you know, I guess if this is something you want to exploit in your playthrough, maybe you can. <laughs> um, yeah, this is insane. So, what Brine does, because he refuses to use it effectively, is Brine is a move 
that does double damage if you are below half HP. So that could really kind of turn the tide in a battle um, and could be very useful. It's not that powerful on its own, but once you're below half HP, it'll be like over 100 powers, which is very good. And we just took out the Floatzold using some weird glitch, I guess. Um, it did not hit us once because it would only, only use Brian. I'm going to keep battling. Let's see what happens. Um, this Quagsire has access to ground moves, um, which are going to be super effective against Hot to Go. But maybe we can get a defense drop here. Okay. So he will actually attack us. <laughs> So hot to go will probably go down. That's no big deal. Good work. Good work. Way to <laughs> cheat the system. Um, and now with Autumn, we have a four times weakness against this Quagsire, so... We are sitting pretty. Ah. Unless he wants to use a yawn. Let's see. I did not think that's where we would take it out. Um, so we're gonna swap here. And we can just sacrifice Karen. Because I don't want to fall asleep. Come to think of it, this bite. Let's try beat up. Oh, it missed. Oh, wait, no, good. Skitter's attack. Oh, that did nothing. <laughs> I guess when you use beat up like this and everybody attacks you get a chance of a little critical hit. But they're just a bunch of weak little moves. Oh, it flinched, though. Guys, this this fight has been a roller coaster. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, all right, we're just going to stay in. Rock Tomb misses again. I have been getting, like, ridiculously lucky. There's a bite. That does it, man. We win. Very interesting. Very interesting fight. Huh, what? <laughs> it's gone and ended. Oh, my goodness. That was hilarious. Thanks, Crash Awake. The Fen Badge. I don't remember what Fen actually means. I think that is a Japanese word. Um, that would make sense. Um, so it lets us use the Hidden Machine Surf, but we don't have access to Surf yet. And here he gives us the Brian H uh, TM, which uh, I described to you a little bit. We did not get to see it in action once again because that Floatzel just did not want to fight us. Um, but we'll take it. Um, let's see. We're gonna put Pikachu in the front. It's hot to go close behind. I do want to check in. First, I'll save because I have anxiety. Lovely. And then I'm going to check in on our badges. Because now... Oh! This is actually a really cool um, leftover thing from Diamond and Pearl. As you can see, Fantina down here is in the fifth spot on our gym leaders. But if you recall, we fought her third in Pokemon Platinum. In Diamond and Pearl, she's meant to be fought fifth. And that's what this is kind of a leftover from. But in Platinum, they change it in a way that I think kind of fixes things, where you fight her third. Um, and therefore, Wake should kind of be down here, but they didn't change it for the Platinum version. That's interesting. Oh, look at our badges. They are all dark and dingy. Look at, look at the poor Boulder badge. All right, I'm going to be shaking my computer. I'm kind of trying to shine the Forest badge and the Boulder badge both at the same time. I won't do this forever. I do kind of want to do it um, where there's at least one sparkle on each badge. Um, and really, I'm using my mouse right now um, to do this. But, uh, you know, back in the day, the whole purpose of this um, thing down here was you would use your stylus. Um, on your bottom screen of your DS to shine up your shine up your badges. So let's let's do that. 
Because I hate seeing them all dark and dingy. Even though it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's just fun. Uh, but yeah, we actually haven't really looked at the badges. Because uh, that's the badge that we got from beating um, Maylene, the cobble badge. And this is the badge that we just got for beating Wake, the Fen badge. This blue one over here. Um, and I actually really like this one. So... Oh, yes. Ah. Ah! When the saints go marching in, kind of. <laughs> I always loved how you could play that on here. Anyway. Um, so let's hop out. So here, GCG uh, says hey to us again. Um, and Wake is just like... <laughs> this is so funny. He's like, oh, master! And Wake's like, listen, kid, I know you're dad, but <laughs> I'm not. you're not my apprentice, dude. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, but him knowing his dad, that's something to log away for later. Um, but now he's just like, I'm not your, you're not my apprentice. I'm your apprentice, whatever. But then as they're talking, oh, wait, no, not yet. Um, so he's saying how that galactic guy was going to use a bomb. And now Wake is going to kind of check things out. Um, let's see. All right, gang. So we are going to go check out what's going on with Wake here. Um, he says, hey, what am I, chopped liver? And Wake is like, so this is... So this grunt just set a bomb off in the Great Marsh. Oh, the galactic bomb, he says. <laughs> so now uh, Wake is ready to just pile drive this fool. Um, but he's just like, I gotta make sure everything's fine in here. So why don't you go after that galactic guy, child? And go after that galactic guy we shall. And... We're actually going to stop here. We're going to leave this on a little cliffhanger um, because I need to stop playing for the night. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, but I'm going to save again because I have anxiety. Um, thank you for being here with me tonight, guys. I have loved this very much. I'm glad we were able to add a new team member. We were able to defeat Wake under those weird circumstances. That was really funny. Um, you probably won't see a lot of Crash or Wake battles like that, but hey, it was fun. And uh, I will see you at another time this week. I don't know, um, excuse me, there's a possibility it could be tomorrow, maybe Thursday. Um, kind of a lot of moving pieces this week, but I'll be excited to get back to Platinum with you. And with that, have a great week. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe please. That would be cool. I, I will say if you made it to the end of this episode, um, I'm thinking about doing a special thing. It's not even a game. I'm just going to do a special thing. If I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, that would be fun. Um, I'm really excited about it. I've been planning it kind of forever and I do, I just, it's just something interesting that I want to do on stream. So I'm going to be teasing that off and on for a while now. Um, but until then, thank you. Thanks for being here. So happy to share my joy with you. Until next time, peace out, kids.